Say my name. Eisenberg. You're goddamn right. It might sound crazy, but philosophers and modern scientists have considered there's a chance we might be living in a simulation. The simulation hypothesis states that what we consider reality and everything in it is in fact a simulated construct, similar to a computer simulation. The Matrix The Matrix is a 1999 science fiction movie that gained widespread acclaim for its visuals, action sequences and thought-provoking storyline. This movie is set in a dystopian future where intelligent machines have taken over the world and enslaved humanity. The machines use humans as a power source by harvesting their bioelectric energy while keeping their minds occupied within a vast virtual reality simulation known as the Matrix. The Sims the Sims is a popular and iconic life simulation video game series developed by Maxis and published by EA. The game was first released in 2000 and it has since become one of the best-selling video game franchises of all time. In The Sims, players have the opportunity to create and control virtual characters called Sims. The game allows players to simulate and guide the lives of these sims as they interact with each other and their environment. Players can create families, build and furnish homes, find jobs for their sims and fulfill their various needs and desires. The Laws of Physics the laws of physics are analogous to computer code that dictates the way software will behave under certain circumstances. This determines how fast characters can run or how high they can jump. And unless you're using cheat codes, there's nothing you can do to change that. In a perfect vacuum, light travels at 299,792,458 meters per second. But why? Why this exactly? This is a universal limit that, to our knowledge, cannot be violated. Were it to be surpassed, whoever or whatever traveled faster than light would move backward in time. This would violate causality and therefore might represent a threat to the stability of the universe or simulation. Mandela Effect the Mandela Effect refers to a phenomenon where a large number of people share false memories or misremember specific events, facts or details from the past. In the context of simulation, it would be similar to whenever a video game is updated with new elements that in-game characters wouldn't remember. Plato's Allegory of the Cave Imagine a cave in which prisoners have been held since birth. They are immobilized, facing a blank wall, unable to turn their heads. They have never seen the outside world. Behind the prisoners, fire is burning, and between the fire and the prisoners, there's a walkway. People and objects pass along the walkway, casting shadows on the wall in front of the prisoners. Since the prisoners have never seen anything else, they believe that the shadows they see are the true forms of the objects. Glitches in reality This refers to anomalies or inconsistencies in the fabric of our perceived existence. These glitches are often compared to technical errors or malfunctions in computer simulations or virtual realities, drawing parallels to the simulation hypothesis and the idea that our reality might be akin to a simulated construct. Some examples of what people might metaphorically refer to as glitches in reality include déjà vu, the Mandela effect, and ghosts. Vishnu's Dream The dreams of Vishnu are said to be the creation, sustenance, and dissolution of countless universes. Each dream cycle corresponds to the birth, existence, and eventual destruction of a universe. In Hindu cosmology, the universe goes through cycles of creation, Brahma, preservation, Vishnu, and destruction, Shiva, in an eternal and repetitive process. In Vishnu's dreams, there are various forms of himself as well as the gods, goddesses, beings, and realms that make up the cosmos. When he dreams, he is the source and essence of everything in existence. It is through his divine power and will that the universe comes into being and continues to exist. Once the dream cycle is complete, the entire universe dissolves back into Vishnu, who then rests until the next cycle begins. The Butterfly Dream 
The butterfly dream is a philosophical concept often attributed to the ancient Chinese philosopher Zhuangzi. In this story, Zhuangzi describes having a vivid dream in which he becomes a butterfly. In the dream, he experiences all the sensations and perceptions of a butterfly, flying freely and without any awareness of his human identity. When he wakes up from the dream, he is once again Zhuangzi, the human philosopher. The dream challenges the notion of reality and questions whether the waking state is any more real than the dream state. It raises the possibility that both states could be equally valid or illusory. Maya In Hindu philosophy, Maya refers to the illusory nature of the material world. It is often described as the cosmic illusion or the veil of ignorance that keeps individuals bound to the cycle of birth and death in the realm of samsara. Maya is associated with the concept of impermanence and the idea that the material world, despite appearing real and tangible, is in essence an illusion. The connection between the simulation hypothesis and Maya lies in their shared focus on the illusory nature of reality. In both concepts, there is a notion that the perceived reality might not be the ultimate truth and that there could be a deeper, more fundamental reality beyond what our senses perceive. Mathematics Why do mathematical equations describe the physical world so well? Is mathematics a fundamental aspect of reality? Or is it simply a human invention that happens to be useful for describing nature? The language of mathematics has proven to be remarkably effective in describing the laws of nature and explaining natural phenomena. Scientists and physicists often use mathematical equations and models to represent physical laws, from the motions of planets to the behavior of subatomic particles. Mathematics allows us to make precise predictions and understand the relationships between different aspects of the natural world. Mathematics is heavily present in video games. In fact, it plays a fundamental role in the creation and functioning of video games at various levels, from basic game mechanics to advanced graphics and simulations. The fine-tuning of the universe the fine-tuning of the universe refers to the observation that the fundamental physical constants and parameters of the universe seem to be precisely adjusted or tuned in a way that allows life, complexity and the existence of galaxies to emerge. If these constants were even slightly different, the universe might not be able to develop life or the formation of stars and planets. There are several examples of fine-tuning in the universe, if the gravitational constant were significantly stronger or weaker, the structure of the universe, the formation of stars, and the stability of planets would be drastically different. If the strength of the electromagnetic force were different, atoms might not hold together, preventing the formation of matter as we know it. If the weak nuclear force were altered, elements essential for life, such as carbon and oxygen, might not form in sufficient quantities. Out of Bounds out of bounds refers to areas or locations that are unintended by game developers for players to access or explore. Some out of bounds areas may be empty, unfinished or lack textures as they were not intended for players to see. A good analogy for it would be the limits of space, an area in which our universe is yet to reach and where most probably the laws of physics are inexistent. Avatars an avatar refers to a digital representation or entity within a simulated reality. Although generally we think of simulated characters to be completely independent of any higher consciousness, if we were avatars, that would imply that we are the embodiment of somebody living on a higher level of existence. The reason why a higher being would live within us might be that their plane of existence could be harder to survive in than in a digital world. The Double Slit Experiment To put it simply, this experiment, that has been confirmed beyond the shadow of a doubt, shows that particles behave differently depending on whether they are measured or observed. 
When observed, they behave like particles, but if they are not, they behave like waves. In other words, quantum mechanics suggests that reality is inherently probabilistic and indeterminate until observed. This can be linked to the fact that in video games or simulations, the system doesn't need to make the whole world visible if it's not being observed, given that it would take a big amount of resources to render what's not in sight. Laplace's Demon the idea of knowing the future with perfect precision by tracking down every single particle of the universe at the beginning of time is based on the concept of Laplace's demon. This concept is named after the French mathematician and physicist Pierre Simon Laplace, who proposed it in the early 19th century. Laplace's demon is a thought experiment that assumes a hypothetical, all-knowing and all-powerful intellect capable of knowing the precise position and momentum of every particle in the universe at a specific moment, usually referred to as the initial condition. With this complete knowledge of the universe state and the laws of physics, the demon could in theory calculate the positions and momentum of all particles at any future time and thus predicting the future evolution of the entire universe. The purpose. There could be several purposes for a civilization to use simulations. Here are some examples. To explore scenarios that are impractical or dangerous to replicate in their reality. To simulate the different outcomes of historical events, in case they are simulating themselves, to see the best possible outcomes for their own civilization. For entertainment purposes, in the same fashion as we played The Sims or other video games. Baseline reality If we are in a simulation, that doesn't automatically mean that the higher plane of existence is the baseline reality. This begs the question, who or what exists in the superior reality? Does that reality look similar to the universe in which we live? Infinite regression Infinite regression is a philosophical or logical problem that arises when trying to provide an ultimate or foundational explanation for a series of events or causes. It occurs when one seeks to find the cause of something and that cause, in turn, requires another cause, and so on, in an infinite loop with no end or ultimate starting point. If we are being simulated and we were created by another higher being, who created him and who created his creator? The meaning of life. If it were ever discovered that we live in a simulation, what would be the purpose of our existence, being just an experiment for the amusement of a higher civilization that can shut us down at any moment, might feel hopeless and overwhelming. Personally, I think it doesn't matter that much if we are in a simulation or not, if we are able to enjoy this plane of existence through our senses, feelings and experiences, we could work with that and find a personal or common purpose, even if we live in a confined space made by somebody else. Okay guys, so that's all for today. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Please subscribe for more icebergs and interesting content, and hit the like button, please. See you in the next one.